How's it going, fellas? Today I have a really solid, easy to make Parmesan mushroom risotto recipe that'll definitely impress at your next date night or if you just want some risotto right now. A lot of people think that risotto is this impossible to master recipe that's always way too crunchy or a big bowl of glue. I'm gonna help teach you the tricks that I use to make this dish, specifically how I learned it from school. We're gonna start by dicing one large Spanish onion, then mince a comedically large garlic clove from your local farmer's market. I've seriously had this whole head of garlic since like July, and it's still good, just a little bit green at some spots which you could just cut off anyways. If you're using older garlic like I am, it helps to cut the garlic in half and remove the stem inside. That's the main reason people get acid reflux from things with garlic in them. The recipe calls for 700 mils of chicken stock, which I'll make at some point, but for now, the powdered stuff is good. Just make sure it says stock on the front. 240 grams of arborio rice, the last seven drops of your white wine, or about 50 mils. The more you add, the better, honestly. And if you can't add any, then just skip the step altogether. And finally, the mushrooms. I like a lot of mushroom in mine, so tune it to your liking. Just be warned, mushrooms do look a lot bigger when they're not cooked. It's also worth mentioning that when I made this video, I had no parmesan to add to the dish, so I'll just say when you should add it. It really makes the dish whole and it hurts to skip, just don't add the green bottle. Start by sauteing the mushrooms over medium heat in butter. Then once they start to soften, you could add the onions and garlic as well. We're not going for color here, rather the softness. So just watch your heat. It's okay to turn the heat down, trust me. Once they're soft and super fragrant, you could throw in the rice and toast it a bit. This is okay for the whole color thing I was just going on about before, so you could turn the heat up this time. Throw in some butter while they're toasting to get all the rice coated. Before throwing in the stock though, deglaze with white wine. I just got a little ahead of myself here and totally forgot the step order. Add enough stock to cover the rice and let it cook over medium, stirring it pretty often, especially if you're not using a non-stick pan. Once it all gets absorbed, you're going to fully cover the rice yet again. Usually two or three additions is enough. While that's happening, I'm sautéing some mushrooms that I kept so I could have some nice decoration for later. Check the rice after the second absorption, and if you think it's soft enough, aka slightly more cooked than al dente, remove it from the heat. Season it to your liking with salt and pepper, Add the butter, which is very important to do off the heat, otherwise it's all going to separate. This is a little technique that we call Monteo Bar. And then right around here you would throw the Parmesan in. About 55 grams. This, like the wine, you could add as much as you want, but I feel like the more the better. Just watch how much salt you add to it since the Parmesan is naturally very salty. Now it's time to plate it up using my iconic beef tartare shaping method for a nice portion. Then the extra mushrooms on top, always an odd number. And that's all there really is to it. Risotto really isn't as scary as some people might think it is, and I highly recommend making it and just learning the technique altogether. This takes less than 45 minutes, an hour tops, if you could get all your mises en place. Hope you guys enjoyed it.